Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the final preparation before we enter Ganon's Castle. Sorry. Low Rules Castle. It's not Ganon's Castle. Ganon is sealed at the moment. Entering the Ice Rod. I'll buy it. Yep. Gonna buy it. We got the Ice Rod. I'd like to buy the Tornado Rod, too. Yep. Buying, buying. We bought the Tornado Rod. I'm gonna buy the bow. Yeah, it's, it's nice and easy. We've got all our items now. And I'm gonna buy the boomerang. Do you ever actually need the boomerang, or is it just a, a, an extra weapon? Because I think like each of the other ones have been used in at least one dungeon. But we have purchased everything. At last, I've sold all my items. Yay for me! Thanks to your efforts, Mr. Hero, I've made a great prop. I mean, I've made a great friend. And there's just one more thing. I'm closing down my shop. I mean, I sold you everything so I can finally retire and live the good life. Congratulations. I'm gonna kick up my feet and figure out what to do next. Anyways, gotta bow down to you. Can't believe you found so many rupees for me. Between all the items that he got back, and that, so Shiro will never come visit us anymore. But there is still a little uh, bit more we want to do. Uh, for one, we want to head over to Kakariko Village. There is an item that I want to grab. Uh, I don't want to grab a purple potion like Irene suggested. But I do want to grab... No, where's the item shop? Right here. Perfect. I want to grab... A scoot fruit. It kicks us out of the dungeon immediately. There's also a foul fruit. We don't need that. It's it's basically our hammer. Not too worried about anything else. So play our bell and head back to our house. We are gonna have a few things left before we officially start. Um, but I think this is the last one we're doing in high rule. Uh, the rest of it should be in low rule. And this guy. Uh, I ran into him by mistake while I was looking for that fairy fountain we wound up using later. But. Hello, random person. Maybe in a secluded dungeon, like a scoop fruit. Alright. There you go. We got a silver rupee for it, so a little extra money. Alright. Yeah, not too too much that he helps you with, but I mean, if you were hurting for a hundred rupees, it's the perfect place to get them. Next, we're going to be heading, I would say, straight to the potion shop, pick up a blue potion or two, but potion's going to be our last stop. My am I first, because we now have every weapon that's upgradable. Unfortunately, that means we have to sit through the, like, four more uh, upgrade sequences. Five more, maybe. Oh, I can give you something. Here, take my bow. Yep, upgrade the bow. And this is an interesting change to the bow. Look at that. The bow becomes a lot sturdier looking. I mean, it's gonna be- it's gonna hit a lot harder, and it's gonna do probably a little more damage. Something ours nicer? Boomerang. Why not? Yeah! Let's see, is this going to become the legendary red boomerang? Or what's it going to change to? Or the skull boomerang? I guess there's that one too. Nope, it's the blue boomerang. Unfortunate. I wish they would have went with the red boomerang, but... I guess we can live with the blue. Go, Ice Rod! Everything will be upgraded. I like the design effects with a lot of the changes when it's upgraded. Like, look at this guy. It's now a s snow star at the top of it. And... Yeah, I was gonna say, we're almost done. Tornado Rod, and I think that might be it. I can't remember if there's anything else that still needs to be upgraded after the Tornado Rod. I guess it gives us longer float time. That's all I can really see it doing. You found all my babies. Take this from Mother Mai. Mai. She ate us, and after eating us, she gives us mm. 
We have mastered the Great Spin. Can't use it in her area, because you can't use anything in her area. But that is the last item she will upgrade. So look how big. That's how big our um, spin attack now is. Would have been great on Treacherous Tower, but we needed the money first. We got plenty there, so I'm quite content. I think it gives you about 5,000 rupees. We do have one more thing. I know I said that was the last thing. No, we're, we're going to go to the other world now. Come on, into the other world. We're still going to have to uh, bell our way to where we're going, but still. Oh, exit the wall, bell our way down to the Swamp Palace. Last time we're going to need to go here. Because we need to go towards the bomb place. I don't think we need to use the bomb place again. I think we already opened this one. It was the Rupee Fairy that we saw earlier. Oops, yeah, no, we have to go up. You remember the Rupee one? The one that I said, nope, not doing that, we need our money. Well, now we have 4,000 or so Rupees that we don't need as much. Uh, I'm sure we probably could use them for something. But I'd rather do this first. Because we are still missing, despite how our layout looks like, we're missing a few items. And they're not just like this scoop fruit and that sort of thing. I'd like to throw 200. Unfortunately, that's the fastest way we're doing it. Thank you for your small kindness. 200. Alright, that's that's 400 total. Small token of gratitude. Literally healed us one heart. And gave us a fairy. The fairy is the important part. Now we didn't need to go to... Oh, you come back here, fairy. You are a small token of gratitude for us. We are going to catch you. Throw 200. Thank you for all you've done. Normally you'd be doing this slowly over the course of the game, but I'm fairly, like, lazy and I'm like, I'll do it all at the same time if I can. Okay, come on fairy, I don't have the great fairy mask, so you just need to come be nice to me. We got it. Barely. Put it in a bottle. And that's the last fairy we're going to be carrying. We're only going to be bringing three lives into this next one. Let's throw another 20, 200. Thank you for all you've done. You're going to heal me the rest of the way up. And that's going to be the cutscene for the next little bit. 200. And you see, it actually destroys all the fairies otherwise. Generosity fills my heart. You might be wondering why we're bothering with this, and it's it's a really simple reason. It's just, well, we need the final item that we get for giving 2,000 rupees, which we're getting pretty close to. I think we were a little over 4,000 last time, so we have maybe three more run-ins. Generosity fills your heart. Very nice. So she is a nice pay to heal if you do need that mid-game. However. Well, you can carry around fairies. You've got your heels anyways. There's a fairy thing right south of Link's house. Don't know that's too, too needed. We actually don't have all the items yet, though. Uh, not just what we're getting here. Generosity fills my heart. I don't care. I really don't care, fairy. And one more. One more. It's... That should be the 2000 mark. You have done a lot for fountains. Thank you. Please do not stop now. Oh, is it 3,000 I have to give? Uh, Alright. Well, we had 4,000, so I knew we were going to handle it regardless. Because uh, you can see the fairy is slowly getting bigger um, at each milestone we're hitting. Please do not stop now. Well, we've got three more to go. Because, well, this last thing, it's the most expensive item in the game. Kind of. 
I mean, I wish there was an option to throw more than 200 rupees at a time. I mean, I can pick up a 300 rupee. Why don't I just throw 10 of those? Done. Nope. I guess they only coded them for 50 gap and 200 gap, but... Alright, what I hope is the last time I have to throw rupees into this fountain, because I, I like my rupees. It's a bit sad that I lost them all this way. I've grown so much, let me give you this bottle. May it be useful in your travels. We got a bottle. Maybe not the most expensive thing for us to go running with, but... I think it's a entirely worthwhile thing, especially with we have all the items, we've done Treacherous Tower once already. Uh, we do have to do it again later, um, post-game, just to... Um, um, but... Oh, that's right, we want to go back to Vacant House. I'm really fired up, think for all the trouble Yuka caused. We're going back to Hyrule to go get potions. Irene would be happy to hear that. And then, we are ready to start. We're going to pick up... I don't know that I actually have enough monster tails to get two blue. At least one blue potion. Because I don't know that there's any easy way to grind uh, blue tails. But, I mean, it'll be a perfect reason to test out one of the other ones. I don't think we need the um, damage all enemies potion, as, as fun as that would be. Um, so we'll, we'll pick up our blue potion. Oh, no, no. I want your red potion. Ten monster ch Yeah, we only have enough for one set of blue. So we'll, we'll throw the blue in. And... We'll pick up the yellow potion. It's, I believe, invincibility. So... Yep, invulnerable for a short time. Thank you, random lady. Back to our house. Let's go through it again. And, well, we'll get ready. It is time for us to enter uh, Loro Castle. It looks like our preparations did wind up taking pretty much the entire video, unfortunately. But we are all prepared. We can literally walk out of here and start our trek towards the castle. Okay, we're there. Man, that was a tough trek to the castle. So I think this is the screen the castle's on. So, we'll walk right in the front door. What do you say? You say... A new weather vane has been added to the map. Save your progress? No. You've been playing for a while. Why don't you take a break? End your game for the pause menu. Well, not if I haven't saved. Alright, what's this? Can you hear me, Hero of Hyrule? You've arrived just in time for Yuka has escaped my bonds, and his minions are loose in Low Rule Castle. Give me a moment while I remove the barrier that protects my castle. Then make haste, Link. Yuga has escaped, so we are going to go be fighting him. However, this is still Low Rule Castle. Does someone want to explain why there is lava in Low Rule Castle? But yeah, here's the enemies that I didn't recognize while we were um, going through the Treacherous Tower. Which means we'll probably see those Dark Lionels as well. Ooh, what happens if I just kind of push you to your doom? You die! Oh, hey, nice. that makes sense. We can cross the wall over here and get our first item, which is a red rupee. I mean, it would be more useful if you were still trying to pay off any of the items and you didn't do one extra treacherous tower. We'll fight you for real this time. He's the only light source in this room, unfortunately. I'm, I'm killing things just hoping for a um, some more monster tails in case. But we have entered the second floor. We can already see there's an item right there. As much as I'd love to go that way, we're gonna charge oh, and not make it where I thought we were. We'll go up another floor. And you can see there are four uh, things that need to be defeated. It's a pretty common thing now for... 
push this off and jump off ourselves. No, I didn't want to push him off as well. In any case, we can make our trek back up to the surface. Ooh, sweet free hearts. They give a lot of hearts in this area. And with the enemy dead, I mean, that's never going to be at risk. Rude. I thought there was a way to walk around that side. I, I noticed that the guys I'm walking off, I'm like, oh no. So I will show you what that treasure chest is, and then we will call it for this episode, now that our prep is done. Yeah, I know it dropped 50 rupees, so it's an amazing start. One more level up, and... Note self, hit that first next time. We can drop down here and get ourselves a small key. Yeah, nothing too, too important. However, it is the first of the small keys we can get and needed for any of the continuation. But we have managed to beat the mid boss, which was go touch this uh, part of the floor. And with that, I'm going to call it here. Thank you guys for watching this part of. The Legend of Zelda, uh, A Link Between Worlds. In the next part, we will be taking on the first of these challenges. See you guys then.